are heading down to the Florida Everglades this week for the Python Hunting Challenge. Yeah, it sounds interesting, right? Well, it's a competition launched by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to cut down on the number of Burmese pythons overwhelming the ecosystem there. Joining us is owner of Alligator Associates and professional python hunter, Rodney Irwin. Good morning to you. I didn't know there was such a profession, but apparently they need you down in Florida. What's going on down there? Well, we've... Uh our native animals are kind of having a tough time even before the python. The encroachment of man has pushed them back. And now we have a new apex predator in the mix. And they're just taking out a lot of our native wildlife. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, in some spots down around the Everglades, there are no rabbits, no foxes. There are very few raccoons and bobcats. And, and Rodney, they think they can kind of trace it back to Hurricane Andrew, right? Because now these, these pythons are out of control and you need to harvest them. But what happened 15 years ago or so? Well, I was in Homestead for Hurricane Andrew, and basically it was the end of the world. <laughs> and because of the climate, we have breeding operations that breed not only uh, snakes, but birds and a lot of other things. And uh, when Hurricane Andrew struck, all of that was just blown away. And there was a pretty big mass release of pythons and then you add that to the people that bought a python as right. a pet and two years later that pet bites them and they don't want to kill the pet so they release him in the Everglades and that's a, a real big problem. Wow actually. so now here's the thing this weekend you're you know you're gonna be hunting these pythons you don't decapitate them what's the best way to try and catch them and actually get rid of them? Well, that's kind of a touchy point. Um, mm -hmm. It must be done humanely. Right. Uh, it can be done with a weapon, a uh, quick blast to the head with a weapon. Mm -hmm. If you uh, take it to a veterinarian, as is an option, he will most likely uh, take a, a high-speed drill and drill right at the base of the skull and scramble the brain. Sure. And the whole idea is to thin the herd uh, python-wise. It kicked off over the weekend. And I understand, Rodney, uh, one of the things that you've got to be really careful when you're out there is to make sure that you don't get bitten by like a rattlesnake or something like that when you're looking for pythons. Exactly correct. Uh, last summer I was chasing a python. It's really easy when you see a python. There's a lot of things that have to go through your mind at once. Uh, make sure that you're on the line to intercept him. Uh, just get yourself mentally prepared and it's easy to not be paying the attention you should to what's happening right at your feet. Right. Sure. I was chasing a python and uh, on my way back I walked by the same track, I walked by a rattlesnake that would have really ruined my day. Oh, man. And I guess the, the understanding is what we should be important to mention is that there's no natural predator for these pythons and that's why they need folks like you to go and do something about it. Indeed, a and the, our native wildlife evolved without large constrictors in the ecosystem, so they really don't have a natural fear of pythons. Mm -hmm. the, uh, sure. the learning curve is pretty steep. Usually their first encounter with a python is their last encounter. <laughs> uh, I can understand that. Well, they're, so they're having this Python Challenge. If folks would like more information, pythonchallenge.org. There are prizes, I think, uh, ranging up to 1500 bucks. so who knows? Not only would you wind up with a python, but maybe some jack as well. All right, Rodney Irwin, <laughs> the owner of Alligator Associates down in uh, the Miami area. Sir, thank you very much for joining us early on this Monday, Fox.